Looking at our future track, we will have a few clouds pass by as we head through the overnight hours tonight, but I don't think it'll bring much fanfare to the area. Maybe a sprinkle or two, and that is about it. By 6 o'clock in the morning, those clouds start to push away, and look at this. We should have mostly sunny skies as we make our way through Wednesday going into Thursday morning. And I do think we'll see sunshine for most of the day Thursday, but late in the day we will start to see high clouds on the increase. That will be in advance of our next storm system, which should arrive late Friday into Saturday, maybe a few showers by then as well. But in the near term, a cold front will be zipping into the area later on tonight. That will bring some gustier winds around midnight. Then they'll relax a little bit as we head into Wednesday morning. But by Wednesday at lunchtime, it does appear we will get up in the 15 to 25 mile per hour range and they will stay breezy on into the afternoon. So expect a little more wind as we head through Wednesday and temperatures will be cooler as well in the 50s. So it'll be kind of a brisk day out there. You'll need to have a jacket handy and then by Wednesday night we will be seeing those winds die off to about 5 to 10 miles per hour and that will lead us to a cold Thursday morning. So tonight temperatures will be dipping down into the upper 30s and lower 40s. We'll go 38 Waco, 39 Temple and Colleen, 43 Centerville and 39 in Meridian. Then as we push into your Wednesday, looks like it will be a little bit cooler out there behind that front. Warmest conditions across the south. Cooler 50s though from Waco Temple Colleen off to the north as we will have the influence of that front in our area. So here's your 10 day forecast. 56 degrees on Wednesday, 28 degrees as we head into Thursday morning. So pretty good freeze there. Mid 50s again Thursday, back up to 60 Friday. How about pushing 70 Saturday? 30% chance of showers early in the day, then clearing out into the afternoon. That will lead us to a decent Sunday at 63 degrees. More 60s on the way for next week, and then our next storm system arrives by the end of next week.